Hi guys and welcome to Sergio's Structural Engineering Channel. As a continuation for our previous videos regarding uh, base plate steel design, today we are going to transfer uh, lateral forces from the structure to the foundation through the base plate. For that reason, we are going to study how the shear forces are resisted by the anchor balls. Will you join us? Based in the previous exercises, uh, for today's example, uh, we are going to use a, a shear design forces equal to 120 kN and uh, keep in mind that the base plate was solved using 6 uh, diameters 32 with an ultimate strength capacity equal to 400 MPa. Let's study together some possible resistance mechanisms uh, to be developed in the base plate to transfer from a safety point of view the shear uh, design transferred by the structure. First option, if the base plate is subjected under uh, compression, then it is easier to find that there are balls that are also under compression forces. Then we also could accept or assume that all shear forces has to be resisted, resisted by those uh, three anchor bolts under compression. In accordance with Eurocode 3 part 1 of 8, anchor bolt uh, shear capacity it is ruled by the following equation. A factor equal to 0 0.6 for the grade of the actual anchor balls, ultimate strength uh, capacity for the anchor board, the area of the, the anchor ball divided by a safety factor, usually defined as 1.25 for connection. Possible second resistance mechanism is to assume that anchor balls subjected to tension can also uh, resist shear forces. For that reason, and in accordance with AC3 part 1 of 8, we also have to follow this equation to deduct ultimate capacity for the anchor balls subjected to tension forces. Once uh, anchor ball uh, shear and tension strength capacity are uh, defined, uh, Eurocode 3 establishes the following linear interaction equation if we would like to design uh, the anchor ball simultaneously with tension and shear forces. Linear interaction uh, equation uh, allow us to represent a safety area graphically. So uh, uh, all those points that are um, uh, a pair of points based on uh, tension forces and shear forces of all the combinations, all the combinations for the anchor bolt, if they are want to comply with the requirements or Eurocode 3, has to be uh, inside this area. The pair of points that are outside this uh, area are not complying with the requirements of the uh, European Design Code for Steel Extract. Independently of the uh, possible resistance uh, mechanisms, uh, cases A or B, if it is possible also to include in our calculation the favorable effect of friction forces. But it's important only if the base plate it is uh, under compression. Uh, if this uh, tension or the contact is not guaranteed, we cannot take into account in our calculation the friction forces. Friction forces help us uh, to balance horizontally shear forces uh, acting uh, over the base plate. It is just a, a common column friction forces applied uh, over the surface of the base plate and the concrete or the groove. So friction forces can be defined with the following equation. It is uh, no more than the friction coefficient uh, of, uh, of friction, that is called nu, okay? Multiplied by axial forces acting over the base plate, but without, uh, without or taking into account that these axial forces, it is, uh, uh, it is a recommendation to use service as a limit state. Uh, I mean, without, without, uh, magnifying, magnifying safety 
factor load. Okay, so we will take into account in our calculation the friction forces from a conservative point of view. Okay, so let's go to the practical example for today. The first uh, issue that we have to face is to uh, define which are the uh, shear capacity for the anchor bolt that, remember, is, is diameter 32 in accordance with our previous videos and what is also the, uh, the tension or the axial tension strength capacity uh, in accordance, both equations in accordance with the code 3. So uh, we have that for uh, uh, ultimate tension capacity for the steel grade, that is 400 megapascals, our anchor ball of diameter 32 in terms of shear, the capacity uh, rise to 153 kilonewtons and for tension that is always uh, more, uh, more strength that the shear capacity uh, reach, uh, reaches to the value of 230. Okay, next step is to deduct, uh, to define which is the friction forces. Okay, friction forces is equal to nu multiplied by the acting, uh, we say uh, axial forces compression, remember, dividing from a safety point of view directly for uh, 1.5. So usually uh, in uh, European standards, friction forces between the concrete and steel, it is assumed to get the value of 0 0.25. So, um, if we make uh, some operations, okay, uh, service, uh, service axial compression forces get the value to uh, 70, and then total uh, friction forces is 17.5 uh, kilonewton that is opposite to the uh, uh, applied shear forces of 120 kN. Okay, let's proceed and continue with the exercise. So uh, we adopt, to make it a little complicated, more little complicated, the resistance mechanism type B, okay? So we are going to think about it to an interaction between anchor balls uh, working simultaneously in tension and, and shear, okay? For our previous videos, we know that for each anchor ball, each, okay, each anchor ball, we have a maximum tension uh, forces of 180 kilonewton. So in terms of a shear, okay, the shear for each ball, for each anchor ball, we have uh, um, this uh, design value. So we have all the shear that is uh, 120 kilonewtons minus uh, 17.5, the friction forces, that can be also neglectable, divided by 6 anchor bolts, made the calculations, uh, divided by 6, as we are talking about 17.08 kilonewton, okay, uh, in terms of tension, of course, we uh, uh, adopt the same value as uh, previous uh, previous video. So this is the two values, uh, two values acting against one of uh, one of the anchor bolts subjected simultaneously uh, with tension and shear forces. So getting to the end of the of the exercise, uh, let's uh, apply the interaction equation uh, provided by by Eurocode three. Okay, and then we have here the terms due to shear. Okay, this one and the terms do uh, to tension uh, uh, axial forces. Okay, so we get the value with the interaction equation of 0 point, uh, uh, six, uh, 67. Okay, that is less than the unity. So um, the anchor ball provided for the previous exercise are uh, are valid for the uh, design uh, shear forces. Okay, also you have the this alternative way uh, to make this this checking. Also you can represent graphically this safety area that is uh, represented here okay so we can introduce a, a, a pair uh, a point um, uh, based on the uh, tension uh, value and the shear value so if if, if uh, as long as the point is inside the pair is inside the the safety area the results are um, uh, saved from a point of view and uh, uh, following the recommendations of the requirements for the euro code 3 from the steel design european code okay we are reaching to the end of the video for today. I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, remember that in LinkedIn profile, uh, my LinkedIn profile, you can 
get access to additional structural engineering and construction uh, uh, formation and contents, okay? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, to give a like, or if you don't mind, share with those who could be interested in this kind of content. That will give me a great support to this uh, activity, okay? Nothing else to say. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.